Okay, well, it's about uh, 3 p.m. on the 11th of July 2016. British politics. The Conservative Party race is over. The last remaining challenger to Theresa May has stepped back. There will be no new challenges. Theresa May will be the new British Prime Minister. It is just a question of when Cameron gets the removal men in, possibly as early as the end of this week, I suspect. And Theresa May is anointed. So who is Theresa May? Well, we don't have a birth time for her. She was born on the 1st of October 1956 in Eastbourne, on the south coast of England. There is no recorded birth time, and if she has it herself, she's certainly not letting anyone else have it. But I thought I'd do a little bit of detective work. Starting with a horoscope based on midday. It's uh, the moon changed sign on the day that she was born. The moon changed sign at about 9.30 in the morning. At that time, the, the moon moved from Leo into Virgo. Now, Theresa May is a Libra. The only planets in Libra when she was born was the sun and Neptune. So I don't see her as a typical Libra. Now, on the one hand, what she's... When you look at her, she's always got well coiffured hair. She's got a quite a strong fetish for uh, um, leopard skin shoes. Shoes are always a big thing for her. And I wouldn't call her ostentatious or showy, but she likes to dress well and she likes to create a good image. Now, we might associate this with the moon in Leo. But um, she's already got Pluto in Leo and Uranus and Venus. And I wonder if she doesn't have the moon in very early Virgo, which might denote a late morning birth time. Also, if she were to have the moon any, any further on than two, three, four degrees of Virgo, suggesting a late afternoon or early evening birth time, then the moon wouldn't be making aspect to any planet in her chart. Now, Theresa May is someone whom uh, one of the common things that's said by a lot of people about her is that nobody likes her. Uh, and we disagree a lot with a lot of her policies, but she engenders a lot of respect. She is Thatcher-like in certain ways. Admittedly, Thatcher was a Libra. But I do detect in Theresa May more similarities with Thatcher than just the Libra rising and the, and the high hair. Uh, more than the Libra sun, I'm sorry, and the high hair. I think when you look at Theresa May, it's difficult to actually remember anything that she said. You can remember the words, but when you try and think of the tone of her voice, she's got one of those voices that no one really remembers for that long. She's also got one of those penetrating gazes and stares that seemingly sees right through you. And she certainly demonstrates the impression that is basically, don't mess with me or I will eat you alive. Uh, or words to that effect. And to me, this suggests that she has Scorpio rising. Scorpio rising on the day that she was born started rising about 9.15 in the morning and concluded around 11.45 in the morning, suggesting a mid-late morning birth time. During this time, the moon changed sign from Leo to Virgo. I am suggesting a birth time of around 10.25am for Theresa May. This puts Pluto on her midheaven, and Pluto in her horoscope is exactly squaring Saturn by half a degree. Puts Saturn in her first house in Scorpio, nowhere near the Ascendant, unlike Thatcher, who had Saturn on the Ascendant in Scorpio. Theresa May is 28 years younger than Thatcher. But nevertheless, with that Saturn square Pluto, and if you have Pluto on the midheaven, it again uh, amplifies the don't mess with me attitude. And it makes her, uh, with Pluto on the midheaven, very concerned, very patriotic. And she has already been described for many years as a one nation conservative. I do think she has a, what she would consider a duty of responsibility and a duty of care for her country. Also, she's a safe pair of hands. She's not going to deviate or be influenced by spin merchants, unlike many of the prime ministers of recent decades. 
She is her own person. Um, there is nothing really what I would call negative or nasty in her horoscope. Saturn square Pluto, and if Pluto's on the midheaven, yeah, that's pretty challenging. And with the moon conjunct Pluto, albeit in different signs. But then she's got that psychological depth and insight that can, what I would call, good bullshit filters. Um, I suspect that if she becomes Prime Minister, she'll probably stay Prime Minister for a few years and lead the Conservative Party for quite a few years to come. And she might even unify them, although that is a job that is probably beyond the scope of any one individual. Politics all over the world is collapsing. Look at the American politi political situation. Look at the Australian political situation. European, British. You know, the need for a brand new system of politics is becoming palpably obvious. But more on that one another time. Please experiment, especially British astrologers, with Theresa May's horoscope, October 1, 56. But try the birth time around 10.25. 10.30 possibly, but more like 10.25. See what you think. Here you go, world. Catch you later. Bye.